it's um, Monday the 11th of April. Um, last vlog was done was about two or three weeks ago. Um, ended up with nothing, didn't really get much action, so didn't really have a lot to film to be honest. Um, just uh, finished setting up um, down the opposite end of the club lake this time. I'm on a swim that's known as the Point, um, which sort of gives you quite an open view, quite a lot of water to fish too. It's really open water. But um, I'll show you. So there's the rods there. Now the right hand rod is probably about halfway out there. The left hand rod is tucked on this bank over here. Um, I'll show you just there, that bush, sort of the one in the middle there, just off the edge of that. We've got snowman pop up again and the uh, Frutella pop-ups with um, sorry it's the kettle going Frutella pop-ups with um, a Nash Tutti Fruity Boily so um, that's a bottom bait so basically rigged as a snowman um, weather's changed quite dramatically actually got down here probably about two hours ago it was 19 degrees, really sunny only a couple of clouds and it's just gone all grey but I mean that's a good thing because it's gone overcast so I reckon we're going to get some action soon uh, trying out a completely different method today um, something I've undenied about doing for probably the last two years to be honest um, which is fishing with maggots for the carp now I've read a lot of places and you know you see on some of these DVDs that sort of thing and know that they can be deadly if they're fished correctly in the right conditions all that sort of thing. Um, basically the way I'm going to fish it today I've got a quarter maggot link I think that's what they're called. It's like a little I need to see that. It's like a little uh, loop with one sharp end locks back on itself and you basically pierce through all the maggots there. Now there's ten maggots on there. Nice little bunch. Carp come along, suck those up. Love it. I think the other thing that's drawn me to using it as well is um, fishing the free offerings of maggot in the PVA bag as well. Little mesh PVA bag. Um, one main thing is probably because they're so lightweight and like a boilie. Um, you know, you can just pack however many maggots in there and still chuck it out quite some distance. Now this one I'm fishing the maggot rig on the right hand rod which is going right over to the far bank just literally just off the edge of a, a tree that grows into the water. Um, I'll show you that actually. Which is, unfortunately I can't actually zoom in because this is a digital still camera but this tree here there's all the like reeds that run across there, which you can probably see where it goes sort of green and then like a beigey colour. Literally just that tree there, I'm going just to the left of it, probably about a foot away from the bank. I know there's a lot of fish that come off around that sort of area. Um, the other, well one downside I have got is, unfortunately there's quite a lot of crayfish in here. Um, and the trouble is with the crayfish, they get on the maggots, <sighs> could be screwed, and obviously maggots, one thing that's stopped me from using it for years, on a water like this where you've got other fish competing for bait, such as bream, you know, I might get on a massive shoulder bream and just keep hauling them in all day. Um, this rain's really coming down. Look at this. That bivvy door's getting blown all over the place. Gary's down here now. Um, it's bivvied up just next door to me, just there. You can see. Weather's changed again. Wind's calmed right down, although there is still a bit of a breeze, but it's calmed down, which is good. And uh, the blue sky's back out, which is nice. Well, it's um, Tuesday now. It's actually a bit later on, it's about um, half four in the afternoon. I decided to stay on the night actually. Um, had a little bit of action last night, but unfortunately nothing really worth putting on the camera. Um, on that right hand rod over by that tree, um, on the maggot rig, had a huge drop back and uh, turned out to be a monstrous bream. It was about seven pound or so, I didn't weigh it. 
but yeah, about seven pound. Um, because it was dark as well, I couldn't really cast over to the bank and go and drop it in again. So I just put a little PVA bag on and just whipped it out there. Um, I think it ended up landing a couple of foot away from the spot anyway, so it weren't too bad. Um, but yeah, and then about four o'clock this morning, half four maybe, um, absolute screamer. Um, ended up with a little five pound common, it's probably the smallest fish I've ever caught while well, carp. Um, but yeah, really good little fight on it actually, it's quite quite a fun fish. Um, but yeah, slip that one back. Uh, the battery was running a little bit low on the camera and I've had to nip up the shop and get some batteries this morning anyway. Um, Gary had nothing last night at all. Uh, but I so say basically we've moved now, we're up on uh, the complete opposite end of the lake. It's a little pool, it's about half an acre, an acre, a little island in the middle an arm, um, which is where I'm fishing on now. Um, I'll show you where I am now. So that there, as you can see, it's actually not far to the other bank. Uh, that tree there, I've got one just sort of to the left of that tree. It's quite a common spot actually. I've walked around that side as well and dropped in a load of particle and corn, maize, that sort of stuff. Um, seen the about four or five fish sitting there basking on top as well. It's a little bit humid today, I don't know whether um, that's going to affect it, but uh, a bit of luck, they'll get their heads down a bit later on tonight. And the second one is just over here on that tree there on the far bank. Again, probably it's about two foot off the bank, just in front of the tree. Again, same sort of thing, just dropped a load down there, a um, load of particles and stuff, and I've got boily tips with a bit of fake corn on that one. Um, Mr. Gary, back from his McDonald's run. What's going on? Very quiet down here today. And Gaz has just stuck a zig out about halfway out there somewhere, try and pick up some passing fish. And I think the other one is just down off the tip of this tree, just down there. Yeah, apparently he's going to go from the tower off. Well, it's 7 o'clock now. Um, still not much action. I've had one beep on the right rod over by that tree, but nothing, just a little beep, could have been anything. Um, left hand rod, I did have a bit of a backdrop. Um, I was just over there, just with Gary talking to him, and it just went and then stopped. Um, I left it for about 15 minutes and I got a little bit paranoid that a crayfish or something had got on it. Um, I was backleaded on it, so it must have been a slight take. Um, I think it's probably just small stuff knocking around to be fair though. Um, brought that one in, so it's trained. I brought that one in and I've switched it now. I've gone on a pop up on that because it is quite silty down there. I didn't actually realise how until I pulled in the line of a load of gum fall over it. Um, but I've gone with a Mulberry Florentine pot single pop up on there, probably risen about an inch or so off the ground. Um, PVA bag on that as well, just a small one, which is basically crushed up uh, two to three boilies with um, also crushed up of those pop ups. Well, red tie curries on. There's no fish action. There's certainly going to be some good old food action. It's getting nice and hot now. Is that filming then? Yeah. Well, finally a bit of action. Just in the middle of eating that uh, lovely red Thai curry, which is probably now gone cold. Right hand rod just absolutely tore off. Uh, struck into it. And, uh, I don't know what happened, but bizarrely, the uh, line on my bait runner just sort of doubled up. Not quite a hard fight. <laughs> Very slow wallering around fish. Absolutely nailed. That's with a really aggressive hook angle on that one as well. There we go. Not the biggest of fish in here, 
but well, less said, absolutely stunning, nearly, nearly fully scaled mirror. So I'll give my face so you can see him. It's not really that big, but when they come like that, you can't complain. So, let's turn them around. fish at the end of the day is what we come here for. So when they look that pretty, we can't complain really, can you? Just had another absolute screamer on the same spot there on the right hand rod off that tree. Uh, just had a little five pound ten inch. Pretty good fight actually, I thought it was a carpenter who got it to the net. On now I think it's about, it's become about 12 o'clock midnight now. About half an hour ago, just sat here in the swim with Gaz having a cup of tea. A little chat on that and uh, left hand rod this time. Absolute screamer. Um, literally lifted into the into the run. And uh, the rod just sort of turned sideways. Straight away knew I was into a pretty good fish. Um, really powerful, unstoppable. Took a lot of line off me to be fair. And uh, probably playing it for I don't know, 15 minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer, maybe 20, I don't know. Um, and yeah, I've got something quite special to show you actually. Get it on the mat and uh, see a bit more. Uh, caught on a new bait that we've been uh, developing ourselves. Um, I don't want to go too much into the bait company just yet, but that will be up and coming. But just to give you a heads up new bait company, Evolution Baits. Um, there'll be links and stuff like that to the website real soon. And again, I'll put that all up on the page. I say one of the main baits we've been working on on that this bait is natural. Um, First time out field testing it actually, and um, yeah, what a result. What I've got here is one of the larger residents of this lake. If I can get him out of the sack. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Which is a beautiful 25 pound common. Absolute cracker of a fish. Look at the body on that. Look at that. Bigger than my hand. And its mouth. You can just get a camera on its mouth there. Look at that. That is just one big fighting machine. So they took me on a run up and down the lake actually for about 15 minutes or so. Great fight. So, oh, a heavy one. Ooh. Still a little bit of fight in him. <laughs> Surprisingly. Try and get underneath him. Look at that. Absolutely stunning fish. session. There he goes. What an end to a great session. 